why I hate social media. I don't really hate social media. It's just I don't like some of it, and I'll give you some reasons why. Facebook. I could go on and on for Facebook. Uh, I'm an old fart. Okay, I started out in the 80s with bulletin board services, uh, with forums where you had bases where you would post something and scroll through and respond to it and copy and paste the message into another one and the whole nine yards. Facebook came along and it was an incredible platform. You could make a uh, private message base, private like pages for your, your particular group. You can invite people, create events, the whole nine yards. It started out was great. Um, recently, uh, very restrictive about selling stuff, airsoft related. Now, I'm talking about normal stuff you can sell. I can sell a bicycle on there, but I can't sell an airsoft gun. Very restrictive about the content that you put on there, too, airsoft related. This is all airsoft related. I'm not talking about anything else. You post a picture of a, a replica, gets flagged. Um, and people will say, oh, I post stuff all around, all the time. They have, you know, well, no, nothing's ever done to us. Just wait. They'll get to you. If you have posted a for sale post and it got flagged, you are now in their queue to keep checking. Because if you post for sale or any variation with a number sign for or whatever, they nail you for it. If you post pictures of things like silencers or battle extensions, they don't like that either. Some gear, they get all bent out of shape about too. I posted a picture about airsoft BBs, and on a picture on the bottle was a replica that got tagged. So Facebook has been very anal about that kind of stuff. But as an overall platform, social media, to get a hold of other people, 99% of the people on my airsoft team are on Facebook. If they're not on Facebook, I can send an email through the group and invite them to events and things like that that we set up. It's very good to get information across to people. Um, and it does have privacy features where you, you can have a private group to talk about things like that, uh, airsoft related. And it is good for that. It's getting kind of long in the tooth, and they're trying to do all these new features, and all it is is making it a mess. The ads on the side, don't get me started on that, but at least you can post some stuff and follow along. And the Instant Messenger, people say they only use Instant Messenger, they don't get on Facebook, because that's separate, you could get that separate from Facebook. And people I know only use that, they do not use Facebook, which I think is hilarious. So... It's good for what it does. It's an old platform, and I know a lot of people tried to get a new platform or something, say, oh, this is better than that. You know, there, there was another one. I forgot what it was. MeWe. MeWe was there. And one guy said, not restrictive. And ever that. Nobody was on it. I went on there, posted a bunch of pictures, invited all my friends to it. Nobody showed up. I'm like, it's a new platform, didn't take off. A lot of them are like that. They try to be like Facebook, but less restrictive, and it just doesn't seem to take off. Will I stay on Facebook? Probably, unless something radically comes up that's a lot different than Facebook. Instagram. Now, Instagram, I like some of the things on Instagram. Like Facebook, though, they're very restrictive, and my account has been, like, like banned for a while, suspended, banned. I actually had to get a whole new uh, Instagram account. They don't like posting certain things on there, and they do tag you from time to time. What is bothering me now with the way Instagram is, like, when you scroll through the posts coming down, like on my phone, I do this all the time. And even I can do it on the on the computer, which is nice. Facebook and Instagram both have interfaces for uh, the computer. 
But when you're scrolling down through, you'll see content, add, content, add, content, add. Like every other post, it's, a, it's an ad. And if you're watching a video, sometimes the video has an ad in it that pops up. Thought to, I forgot to mention that on Facebook, too. Facebook does the same thing. You'll be watching something, and an ad will pop up in the middle of it, and you got to wait, and then it tries to do another ad, and you can skip it. got to watch the first ad, though, but you can skip the other ads after that. Same thing with Instagram. Now, Facebook isn't as bad with this, but Instagram, I'm getting messages all the time from people selling patches, and two, graphic designers that want to do an ad for me or a design. And three, somebody trying to show me sexy pictures of somebody. I get requests for those three all the time. I could go to my account right now and I probably have two, three message requests from people that selling patches, making designs, or want to show me sexy pictures. So it got to the point where I was blocking these people. And they would just come back and make an account with slightly different, less wording in the name of the account. And it was the same thing. So I just started deleting the messages and don't take too much time. Just delete, delete, delete. If you block, you got to do all kind of other nonsense, nonsense with it. So I just delete, delete, delete and call it good. Instagram is good for getting content out there and getting people aware of things. But as a way to communicate with a group, unlike Facebook, there's not really groups in there or ways that you can, like, have private things. Now, they can have videos and stuff like that. I know Facebook has the live streaming. You can stream. So does Instagram. And they also have uh, video messaging, which Instagram has as well. But they're both in the same bag where they restrict on a lot of different stuff. And it's starting to annoy me, just like Facebook is. Twitter. Now, I'm on Twitter to the fact that I send posts from my blog page to Twitter. Do I get on Twitter? No. I send blog posts to it so that I have social media, like, put out there for my page and my video, you know, YouTube account and everything like that. But do I get on there on a regular basis? No. Because I did get on there a couple of times trying to post stuff. And like Instagram, it's a bit of a pain in the ass and... All these different messages I start getting from people, and it just drove me nuts. So now I only just let my blog post automatically filter to it and call it good. So that's my limit to Twitter, and I think it's a good thing. Discord. This is my least favorite social media platform. Because when I look at Discord now, I'm reminded of the original forums... They used to have back on the bulletin board services back in the 80s. You would post a thought, and if somebody didn't copy the message into the next your reply, there could be like 20 posts after, and then a reply to that post, and it would make no sense, like, what is he replying to? What's, what, what's the whole thing? There was no train of thought on there. Unless you're, like, copying, carboning the carbon copying a, a section of the post so you know what's going on, I'm lost. That Maybe that's just me. I get on these Discord servers, and I'm on a lot of Discord servers. And I'll get on there, and there'll be 170 new posts, and I'm like, I start scrolling through, and I'm like, that's it, Mark Red. I don't want to go through them all because they're nonsense, 90% of it. And the buy-sell stuff is good and bad. Guy come on, and I'll give you an example. Guy come on a, a, a Discord channel I follow, selling an AK, really nice with a bunch of mags, and he wanted $300 for it. And there was posts like, oh, that looks nice. Oh, this is a really good-looking gun. Oh, no, no. And there's like 20 of them like that. Nobody actually said, do you want to sell it? One guy asked, like, how's it shoot? And the guy answered in the next message. He didn't reply to that guy and, and copy the message into it. He just replied under the guy, so I guess he was watching it. But then there was a whole bunch of other messages, and then finally the guy posted a message that I saw that it was sold. Didn't go back to the original message post, or the original post, and say, sold on it. He posted it way down the bottom of this long thread and said, oh, the AK has been sold. So a guy comes on, 
about a month later, and I see he's replying to that message. He copied a little bit of the thing, AK for sale or whatever, that the guy had on there. Is this still available? He didn't scroll through the base and find out it was sold because it would have been a pain in the ass trying to find where it was sold. If the guy had marked on the picture, yeah, it was sold, that would have been better. Not everybody does that. Some people go back and do either delete them or, you know, edit them and say sold this item sold or whatever. But a lot of times, it's just a big, long scroll. And I watch this when people are talking about a particular things. Somebody will make a, make a message here that has a good point about something, and there'll be 30 posts going on about other stuff. Then somebody will reply to them, and you're like, what the hell is he talking about down here? What, what's this to? He's talking about something. I don't know what's going on. And that is how it is with 90% of the Discord servers I'm on. There are only two Discord servers I'm on, besides all the other servers. All the other servers are Airsoft servers. These two Discord servers that I'm on are game servers. And in those two game servers, there was only one channel in each one that I check, and that's updates. When my game gets an update, they post a picture and like like what's going to be, you know, like they're added this, added that, whatever. Like you know, updates coming out, live this date, this and that, look for that. You got to click there to do this, and I'm like that. I like to keep on top of that of my favorite games that I play, and those two servers are good. As far as the rest of the posts in the base, I'm like, eh, I don't care. There are people talking about different skins, different this, different that, and I'm like, it doesn't really interest me. Discord is good for certain things. As a general chat base, no. And that's why it's one of my least favorite social medias. Now, there's probably a whole bunch of other ones like Snapchat and all these other ones that I could get on and try and mess around with. And you're know, like, oh, they're the newest thing. And I'm like, they're all quick social media stuff. And I'm like... Yeah, that, that's fine. I really like some of the stuff. And, for example, YouTube has the, the reels and shorts. I tried making a couple different shorts, take my videos and cut sections out of them. And, yeah, that's fun and stuff like that. And I do watch a lot of those compared to watching the whole video sometime on somebody. So that is something probably that I really need to get more involved in. But any of the other social media platforms out there really have no interest for me. I think that's my age group. I just don't see the need for them. Like, maybe if you're in your, like, 20s, you know, all this new stuff might be fantastic for you. Um, I do sometimes do a lot of live chats. Not live chats, but, like, video chats with some of my friends. It's a really good way to keep in touch instead of just calling and talk to somebody or, or giving them a private message. A video chat is really nice. I can still, like, show pictures and, like, share my screen and stuff like that. And one other thing that I will mention, I was actually on a Zoom interview podcast with a guy. Interesting, but I wrote, uh, you know, I have other platforms that I would use for showing, sharing social media with somebody or interviewing somebody. Uh, I don't think I would uh, probably use a Zoom platform, but you never know. So I hope people found this funny, interesting, whatever. Uh, and as always, you guys have a good day, okay? Wow. Oh, that's not right. No.